I know that I have shared with you already that I think one of the primary things that we are supposed to be learning in separation is to trust ourselves and to quit relying on the opinions of others instead of tapping into our own hearts and our own intuition. So watching readings and trusting that those cards, even though they're being pulled as a general reading, can tell us more than we can access through our own intuition. Opinions of friends and family, thinking that they know better than we do. Opinions of society, thinking that if they are going to judge, there must be something wrong with what we think is right for us. The experts. There are so many people claiming to be experts on twin flames. Many of us are star seeds, earth angels, a combination of both. At the very least, black sheep that were never really understood or accepted. We came here with the plan that we were not going to fit into the box. When you have experts that say, you have to do this and this and this and this and then you'll come into union. What are they doing? They're putting you in a damn box. We are supposed to be learning who we truly are. You know, the ego deaths, becoming authentic and who we truly are. I don't believe is ever going to be someone that fits into a box or into a formula. We are supposed to get to the point where we're like, yeah, I don't fit in the box. Do I give a rip? No, not anymore because I am being me and I'm okay with being unique and different from everybody else. To be relying on readings, to be relying on normal friends and family, to be relying on twin flame experts is to say, I belong in a box with everybody else. A formula that fits everybody else will fit me also. I think it's really important that we quit trying to fit, period. And I think that's what a lot of the things that happen in the twin flame journey are intended to get us to. It's okay. I'm not supposed to fit in because after all, there's a lesson here to society about not being able to put everyone inside a box and that everyone is to be allowed to be who they are. What I started out thinking was how perverse this all is. But then that led me to why is it perverse? Because we're trying to fit in the damn box. We are listening to people that say, you have to do this, you have to do that, you're doing it wrong, do it like I tell you to. We are not accepting that beautiful intuition and beautiful heart to know what's right for us. And I think a lot of us just go along because we're not getting it. Divine Masculine is being told they have to get this firm foundation. Divine Feminine has worked on her foundation on her own because that's what she's always done. In addition to making her own foundation solid for herself, she's made it solid for a lot of other people in her life that then said, oh, thanks, ta-ta. Divine Feminine needs the masculine to step up for her emotionally because that's what she has never had, not having had healthy relationships. Divine Masculine needs to know they can continue to work on themselves, but the list of everything that has to be done, everything that has to be checked off, needs to be ripped up and thrown away because they are still thinking that they have to earn love, approval. We know how to be independent because, well, what else are you going to do if people aren't there for you? But when we get to a certain point in our healing, 
we have to be willing to come into partnership, in a collaboration, working together. And when we're listening to all this advice about what has to be done, it is literally keeping people from coming into union if they're buying into all of it. There is a point where you have healed enough that you can come together with your divine counterpart and say, let's work on this together to not think that the only one that can look out for us is us. This is the point. We have to start learning that we can trust another, that we can count on another to be there for us, and that when issues arise, we can be okay with pointing it out to the other and work on things together because that is where we're supposed to be going after we come into union within ourselves. We're supposed to be learning how to be in a healthy collaboration. And yet, the things we're told for those that are okay with being inside the box and working according to a formula is keeping us from coming together. I think we're falling down on the job here by buying in to what everyone else says. Still, when it comes to our divine counterparts, we have to be willing to work with each other. Divine Masculine is listening to all the advice about how he has to have this stable foundation. And he thinks he has to do it all on his own because he needs to be this perfect package before he approaches Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is sitting there twiddling her thumbs, thinking, you know, I don't see what the big deal is about this receptivity because no one's giving me anything to be receptive to, listening to anyone, I believe, is what is throwing a wrench in the unions. This is why I say it's so perverse. We're supposed to eventually accept that we don't fit in the box. We're supposed to eventually learn that we're not supposed to listen to anyone, just listen to our own intuition, our own heart. And yet, to come into proper union, we have to be willing to listen to our divine counterpart. We have to be willing to collaborate. We have to be willing to work on things together and to admit, hey, I got some stuff to work on still. And then to be open to being told that maybe this is part of that thing we're working on and knowing we will still be accepted because there is no such thing as perfection. We're supposed to be human with flaws and to know that we can still have a healthy relationship, a healthy collaboration while we're working on becoming better versions or that there's nothing wrong with who we are now with things still to work on. We have to be okay with being shunned and then we have to be okay with coming together and being accepted and that feels a lot after we're used to being shunned our entire lives. See how perverse it is? There's a song I heard a few years ago and I thought, damn, that kind of describes a little twin flame journey. It's called God Only Knows. And in the lyrics, there are all these contradictions and I think that's a lot of what this journey is about contradictions and discerning what is an obstacle what isn't an obstacle and for me the biggest obstacle for those of us who have been on this journey for years is that we still think that we have to keep working and perfecting ourselves to be that best version and we're not acknowledging that this version is perfectly fine and that from here on out we work together as a team because we don't know what teamwork is like. We've been leaned on and taken advantage of for so many years. There has been no teamwork and this is a new thing. This is a new skill we have to learn. That's scary.